You've learned about intermolecular forces, which are the attractive or repulsive forces between atoms, molecules, or ions. We will now discuss the most obvious bulk characteristic that results from those forces, the physical state of the substance, the properties of those states, and transitions among different states. Let's start with the solid state. In this state, the molecules of the substance are held rigidly in place by intermolecular attractions. The molecules may have enough freedom to vibrate around their equilibrium positions, and in a few very special cases may be able to rotate. But the intermolecular attractions are strong enough to prevent the molecules from sliding past one another. Solids hold their shape. The molecules in liquids, on the other hand, are not held as tightly. The intermolecular attractions keep the molecules from flying away from each other, but not from sliding past one another. This is why a liquid has a defined volume, but not a defined shape. And finally, the intermolecular forces between the molecules of a gas are insufficient to hold the molecules together at all, so the gas expands to fill the container it is in, having no defined shape or volume. It is important to remember that the intermolecular forces don't change when a change of state occurs. What changes is the amount of energy that the molecules have. So when ice melts, London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole interactions, and hydrogen bonding are all still present. It's just that the increased temperature gives more energy to the molecules, so that they are able to overcome those attractions enough to slide past one another. Similarly, when water boils, the attractive forces are still there, but the molecules now have enough energy to completely overcome them to enter the gas phase. All of these changes of state, or phase transitions, are about changes of the energy the molecules have available, not changes of the intermolecular forces.